Well, go. Can you sum up your feelings on helping the team to victory? Well, it's a big win for us. I think it's uh, it's a great result. Three goals away from home and uh, and a win in in this competition is uh, is always big. So, very pleased with the result and the performance and uh, yeah, the way we the way we strike back after after the goal we concede and uh, the mentality in the team is is great. So I'm very pleased with the with everything. Yeah. What does it say about the character of the players? The way you bounce back to score two more goals after conceding. I think it shows the 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 spirit in in the team really, and the way we we back each other, and and one player make a mistake a mistake, and then we the, then we react, and and we know we have to to get a goal, and uh, yeah, that's that's what it's about. It's it's being a team, and uh, when when one player make a mistake, you have to you have to strike back as a team, and and that's what we did today, and uh, that's why I'm I'm very happy with with that, and and the result, of course. And what about your own contribution? Uh, you, did you know what you were going to do as soon as you picked up the ball? It seemed to open up for you for the goal. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, I wanted to to get a shot on goal, and uh, luckily I had a I had a good hit, and and it went in. So it was a it was an important goal, and uh, yeah, I'm happy. Are you starting to feel at home in this Arsenal side? Yeah, definitely. As, I, as I've said before, I, I, I felt home since since the first day. I'm, I'm happy to be here, and uh, yeah, I feel I feel great. So I'm I'm very pleased to, to be a part of the team. And is there a feeling of confidence now with the, the three away goals that you can finish the job at the Emirates? Well, it's it's just half time, so we have to we have to keep going. We have to we have a big game on Saturday, and then we have to be ready again on Thursday. So. <laughs> Nothing is is uh, is over, and, and we have to keep going. This is just uh, just the first part, so we have to be ready for for the next one. From the players' perspective, though, how how important is this trophy to the club? I think it's very important. Uh, obviously, we we're, we're not where we want to be in 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 the league on the table. So I think this is uh, very important for us this year, and it's a chance to to get Champions League football for for next season. So I think obviously it's, it's very important. So we want to go as as far as possible. And is it a perfect uh, result and, and perhaps performance in many ways ahead of the, the weekend game? Yeah, I think it, it's a good result and, and, and yeah, it gives us a lot of confidence into the weekend and also for the next week. So, yeah, we just have to keep going and, and, and build on from, from, from this game. Well played, thanks for talking to us. With 3 1 victory, Martin Keown and Karen Carney watching with me. And Karen, just when you think that Arsenal are going to be the architects of their own downfall again, two really good second half goals. It's looking very comfortable now heading into that second leg. Yeah, it really is. Um, if we'd have said at the start of the game to Mikel Arteta 3 1, I think he would have taken that. I think the disappointing thing was conceding that goal, but fabulous reaction from the team, a brilliant header from Gabriel stepping up when they really need it. Um, yeah, brilliant performance, I think, overall. It felt like a huge game in their season tonight, Martin. Have they delivered? Yeah, uh, very much so. Came through a lot, didn't they, in that uh, difficult second half. We said that the only way perhaps they could slip up was a mistake that they made. And, yeah, that happened again. Um, really disappointed with Leno for passing it to Sobias. Sobias actually coming on. Um, was a bit of a shock to me. I did say, let's put our crash helmets on mm. because last time he played against Benfica and he pretty well gave two goals away. But I understand the manager wants him back in the team. He believes in him. Um, but the ball that Leno gives to him puts him in all sorts of trouble. They score from that. And for 15 minutes afterwards, we looked quite rocky. But the way they got back into it, the, the character they showed, Gabriel, is just, I mean, he's a proper central defender. Powerful, you enjoyed that goal. <laughs> lovely finish. <laughs> And then the team w uh, went from there. So, and then he was able to rest players with a view to the weekend. So it was almost the perfect evening for Arteta and his players. Well, a comprehensive win in Piraeus for Arsenal. A 3-1 victory, Mohamed El Neni's uh, rocket of a goal in that second half to give them a two-goal cushion to bring back to the Emirates. Martin Keown and Karen Carney watching with me. And they look very well placed now, Karen, to head to the quarterfinals. Yeah, like I said earlier, 3-1. Mikel Arteta will be happy with that. Disappointed with the goal they conceded, but fabulous reaction, away goals. Controlled performance at time, and I still think they can improve on it as well. So very, very pleasing. And let's go back to the first half, Martin, because it was another Martin, Martin Erdegaard with that first goal. It, it was a special strike for his first one for the club. It was, and he was having a difficult moment in the game. So really, doesn't he doesn't smashes that from distance. Uh, I like putting this the speed of the goal on for the younger viewers to give you some idea of the velocity of that shot. The goalkeepers all at sea 
Uh, he's had a nightmare with it, but take nothing away from the strike. It was perfect for Arsenal. The first goal scored for Arsenal by a Martin since your two against Shakhtar in 2000 at Highbury, Martin. Was it that long ago? Yeah, I didn't score many, but for some reason I managed well, to Well, you played till 2004, didn't you? So what, what happened after 2000? <laughs> Flick-ons at the near post. <laughs> it kept me well away Defenders from the Defenders defend Martin, right? Correct. That's what we were there for. But I'd have been proud of... Uh, this score one for England, actually, from outside the box. Not dissimilar to that, but it's a great feeling. And interesting, Arsenal scoring two goals from outside the box, and then he doing it later in the evening. So it's definitely something Arsenal have added to their game. He missed an earlier chance, didn't he? But, but it was worth the wait for that goal. Yeah, it was. He, the, the first opportunity he had was probably the easier out of the two yeah. and you expected him on that left foot early on in the game to take his chance. And, you know, Martin was a bit worried as well that, you know, sometimes that can mentally stay in mm. your mindset that start of the game, you haven't took that opportunity. But credit to him, he absolutely unleashed that rocket of a shot and it really gave the impetus to the side and his confidence started to, to grow. He was a little bit sloppy at times, but like I said, it's the life of a number 10. They can do some sloppy things, but then come up with that bit of magic that nobody else can seem to do. And then Mikel Arteta took party off just before the hour mark. And when he brought Ceballos, Martin, you, you were a bit concerned, weren't you, because of the mistakes <laughs> he'd made against Benfica? By nature, I'm naturally concerned, <laughs> um, looking to keep a clean sheet, uh, what had happened to Ceballos before. This is where Leno, I feel, isn't learning from mistakes that he's making. He did something very similar against Burnley. Look at the pressure that he's under there. There are four plates, like a double pincer movement around him. There's nowhere to go. And then Leno can't actually get back into his own goal. So I'm blaming Leno for that. So Bias, yes, I was worried to see him coming on because he made mistakes against Benfica. Maybe El Nenny would have been a better choice to come on and sort of sew things up. But nonetheless, um, you know, he's made a mistake, but the goalkeeper put him in real trouble there. Is that one on Leno? I think it is, yeah. You know, Sabias has just come on. He doesn't want it in those areas. Um, it's got to go long, or I, I agree with Martin. You one nil up, probably Al Nenny was the player to come on. If you one nil down, I think Sabias is that creative player to get on the ball and try and open teams up. But as soon as Party went off, they kind of capitulated really, and they lost that stability. So Al Nenny coming on for me would have been a better sub. Is he the best goalkeeper for, for this system and the way Arsenal wants to play? I think. Look, we, we, we've spoken about. Arteta having a philosophy and a style, but at some point you have to take responsibility. And we've spoken about now, there's too many of the same mistakes happening. And, and Leno's got to go right. He, you see four players around him there, he's got to assess that situation. It's got to go long or, or skip or give some better information. You, you can't keep making these mistakes. And we've spoken about, haven't we, Martin, where they've got away with it tonight, hopefully. Mm but they didn't against Burnley. And moving forward, you can't keep making these same mistakes because teams are set up set the trap exactly what they did, four players around that holding midfielder. And they learn now from mistakes. He's been, Martinez was allowed to leave. A lot of the fans were against that. So he's the number one goalkeeper now and he has to hold on to that jersey. Matt Ryan just been brought in recently. He's on loan, they're trying to sign him. But it's his position to give away. But he's got to minimise his mistakes because it gifted. We don't know yet. They're not through, of course. Anything can happen when you're watching Arsenal. Look what Olympiacos did this time last year. So the tie's far from over. Mm. You don't want to be giving them anything. And that first goal was a simple giveaway. And they very nearly went 2-1 down after that goal was conceded. They did. And that, that, that was a concern. And, you know, it was a set piece. And then Tierney goes, ends up at central defence. And Gabriel is in the fullback position. And I'd like them to switch, get back into their shape as soon as possible. Gabriel doesn't really know where to be there. He's caught between two players. And Bellerin there has just thrown himself at that. That really should be in the back of the net. So Arsenal, again, get away with one there. And they became... We're talking about game management. We said that at half-time. And at that point, they seemed to lose it a little bit. But fortunately, they got a foothold in the game mm. and then up steps the central defender with a proper goal. And this is a proper player. When I'm talking about now physical players, Partey, when he goes off, we lose something. That's a physical player who runs the show. Gabriel does the same in the back line. You loved this goal from, from the centre-back, didn't you? Well, immediately it's about... I mean, look, they're sloppy here, defensively. Let's give William a, a shout-out as well, because it's another assist. He's got three goals, three assists for this man he's given him. And that's a hell of a leap. Powerful header. He wants to take charge. He wants to make things happen. That's mine. And he's, he's nodded it in, and that really changed the tie, really, in this game. 
I think in that moment, you know, Arsenal can do pass, 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 but that goal is all about hunger, desire, exploiting a weakness in which they've switched off from a set play. And Gabriel just going, I want this ball, I'm going to beat you, I've got the leap on you. And it's just a fabulous header. And that little bit of leadership and that control that was needed, that was lost potentially when they conceded and that chance then that potentially Olympiacos could have taken, he stepped up and, and really calmed the ship. And then El Nenny stepped up, a long range strike. It was another stunner, Karen, and it's made things just look a whole lot more comfortable. Brilliant, exactly what Martin said two long range shots, and you want to see more of it when they go in like this. And El Nenny came on, and he was really, really good when he came on. But when no one closes you down, it gives you the license to go. And he's like, right, I'm going to have a strike. Brilliant strike, swerving away from the goalkeeper. He does get a slight hand to it. But, but look at the celebration from his teammates, because it's probably a bit unfamiliar of him at times. But a wonderful strike and you know what, in the end, a really good performance from Arsenal. Just eradicate that one mistake, those two mistakes, it's a perfect performance. And now Nenny there, he's probably thinking, I should have been coming on there. Why have you not put me on? Look at Sabias, I'm better than him. I'll show you I'm better than him. And that's, that's character. You want someone with a little bit of character. Now Nenny's come back, hasn't he? He was on loan most of last season. He's a better man for it. He's a better player. And he showed there just at the right time because that's equally as important, that goal. Another wonderful strike. And they showed resilience in, in the last leg against Benfica and had to show that resilience again tonight, Martin, after conceding that goal. They did. And it's, um, you know, it's about really when they're in front, taking their chances and then being professional, minimising the mistakes, a game management and then growing as a group. The manager as well. He's brand new, as we say. He's only in his second year of management. He's crazy, really. He's won an FA Cup. But he's learning all the time. I think it was sensible to take